Hello, I'm Andrew Hitchings. I'm a consultant clinical pharmacologist and a consultant in intensive care working at St George's Hospital and St George's University of London. My work is in education, particularly in teaching and assessing senior medical students, in medicines management and clinically in the St George's critical care units. The COVID-19 pandemic has presented and continues to present extraordinary challenges in all areas of our work. I lead the final year examinations for the medicine programme at St George's and ordinarily we would have been running our final clinical exams in April just at the time the pandemic was approaching its first peak. We needed to develop at great speed alternative assessment and decision making processes that would allow us still to make confident decisions on which students should graduate and enter the workforce, but in the absence of a traditional clinical examination. We're now also in the process of converting almost all of our face-to-face -face teaching into online content. Alongside academic work, I've been continuing to practice as a consultant in the intensive care units, looking after patients with critical illness, including due to COVID-19 during the first surge. Medicines management work has also not ceased. There's been an explosion of new protocols to deal with the many facets of the COVID-19 illness and of course its impact on other conditions and pathways. So we have needed to develop processes to oversee these and this has included establishing a clinical reference group to review them quickly through online and virtual meetings. Having clinical pharmacologists involved as key contributors to this is a great strength because we bring expertise both in medicines management and in clinical practice from the bedside. I think all of us in healthcare, not just in clinical pharmacology, have learnt about our adaptability and our capacity to manage uncertainty. A strength for clinical pharmacologists is that we tend to have expertise in diverse areas, and this pandemic has shown us how we can draw on these different strengths to respond to demands in creative ways, whether that's in our clinical practice at the bedside, our management of operational issues, for example, in the use of medicines, and in other areas of work such as education. I, for example, have been able to draw on the clinical approaches of uh, risk assessment and decision-making in uncertainty to inform the development of assessment processes in education. We should also acknowledge that this situation really has tested our resilience. And I, for one, am comfortable to admit that I've found the strains of being pulled in so many directions to be extremely demanding. But it's often in these situations of pressure and adversity that we learn the most. And I've no doubt that we will all emerge from this equipped with new skills. For clinical pharmacologists, those will undoubtedly be, again, across diverse areas. 